Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x minus x cubed whole to the power 1 over 2 plus x squared minus x cubed whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start x minus x cubed whole to the power this power 1 over 2 plus from these two terms uh, we can factor out x squared x squared as common factor and in bracket left 1 minus x whole to the power this power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 next x minus x cubed whole to the power 1 over 2 plus by using this power rule a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n this uh, x squared times uh, 1 minus x uh, whole to the power 1 over 2 will become x squared times this power 1 over 2 times 1 minus x whole to the power this power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 x x minus x cubed whole to the power 1 over 2 plus this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with x times 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by x. We divide each term by x. So, this x will be cancelled out with this x and uh, this term we can write as x minus x cubed whole to the power 1 over 2 divided by this x, this x can be written as x squared whole to the power 1 over 2. So, we write this x as x squared whole to the power 1 over 2 plus here we are left with 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. Now, in the numerator we have power 1 over 2 and in the denominator we have power 1 over 2. We can write this expression as x minus x cubed divided by x squared whole to the power. We write this power 1 over 2 one time 1 over 2 plus this expression 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. Now, this expression can be written as x over x squared minus x cubed over x squared whole to the power this power 1 over 2 plus 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. Now, this x over x squared is equal to 1 over x minus this x cubed over x squared is equal to x whole to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. Now, we suppose that this expression is equal to m and this expression is equal to n. Let m is equal to this expression 1 minus x minus x whole to the power 
1 over 2 we suppose that n is equal to 1 minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 and if we substitute uh, m in place of this expression and n in place of this expression then this equation will become m plus n is equal to 1 over x. We name this equation equation 1. Now, if we square both sides of this equation then m squared will be equal to 1 over x minus x and if we square both sides of this equation then n squared will be equal to 1 minus x. Now, we subtract this equation from this equation. So, this will become m squared minus n squared is equal to right hand side of this equation 1 over x minus x minus right hand side of this equation 1 minus x. Next, m squared minus n squared is equal to 1 over x minus x. We remove this bracket, this positive 1 will become negative 1 and this negative x will become positive x. Now, this m squared minus n squared is equal to m plus n times m minus n is equal to 1 over x. This negative x will be cancelled out with this positive x and here we are left with negative 1. Now, in place of this m plus n, we put the value of m plus n 1 over x from equation 1. Then this equation will become 1 over x times m minus n is equal to 1 over x minus 1. Now, from here we multiply both sides of this equation by x. The right hand side we multiply by x. So, this x will be cancelled out with this x and at left hand side we are left with m minus n is equal to x times 1 over x 1 minus x times 1 x. We name this equation equation 2. Now, we add equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is m plus n is equal to 1 over x. Equation 1 is m plus n is equal to 1 over x this is equation 1 and we add these two equations. So, this 1m plus 1m will become 2 times m. This negative n will be cancelled out with this positive n. This 1 over x is equal to 1 over x minus this x minus x plus this one. Now, in place of this 1 over x minus x, we put the value of 1 over x minus x. m squared from this equation. One over x minus x is equal to m squared. So we replace this one over x minus x with this m squared then this equation will become 2 times m is equal to m squared plus 1. And we move this 2m to the right hand side then this equation will become m squared negative 2 times m plus 1 is equal to 0 and this is a perfect square can be written as m minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. And if we take square root of both sides then m minus 1 is equal to 0 and if we move this negative 1 to the right hand side then 
m is equal to 1. Now recall that recall that m is equal to 1 over x minus x whole to the power 1 over 2. Recall that 1 over x minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to m. In this equation, we put the value of m 1. Then this equation will become 1 over x minus x whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to in place of this m, we write the value of m 1. Now, from here, we take square of both sides of this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left hand side, we are left with the 1 over x minus x is equal to 1 squared is 1. And if we multiply both sides by x, then this implies that 1 minus x squared is equal to x. Now, we move uh, this uh, negative x squared and this positive 1 to the right hand side. Then this equation will become x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and it is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b is 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this uh, 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4. So, 1 plus 4 will become 5 divided by 2. So, from here we get the two values of x x 1 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, square root of 5 over 2 and x 2 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, this uh, square root of 5 square root of 5 is greater than 1 square root of 5 is greater than 1. So, this value is positive this is greater than 0 and this value negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is less than 0. And uh, according to the domain of the equation, sum of uh, two squares cannot be negative. So, this solution will be rejected. So, the only solution to this equation is negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 is a valid solution.